Hey, how you doing there this morning, my friends? It's good to see you on this, uh, what is it, Friday? Is it Friday already? Yeah, it is. Friday, November the 12th. And here we are. Thanks for stopping by. Kind of a chilly morning, 41 degrees. Going to be a decent day. I'll be a little chilly. So, uh, yeah, let's rejoice in that. Hey, November 12th, let's uh, share a little Jesus calling this morning. This is a time of abundance in your life. Your cup runneth over with blessings. Mm. After plodding uphill for many weeks, you are now traipsing through lush meadows drenched in warm sunshine. I want you to enjoy to the full this time of ease and refreshment. I delight in providing it for you. Sometimes uh, my children hesitate to receive my good gifts with open hands. Feeding feelings of false guilt creep in, telling them they don't deserve to be so richly blessed. This is nonsense thinking, because no one deserves anything from me. My kingdom is not about earning and deserving. It's about believing and receiving. When a child of mine balks at receiving my gifts, I am deeply grieved. When you receive my abundant blessings with a grateful heart, I rejoice. My pleasure in giving and your pleasure in receiving flow together in joyous harmony. Well, I love that. That's Jesus calling this morning. And I love the line there. And my kingdom is not about earning and deserving. It is about believing and receiving. Be a believer and a receiver uh, today. Wow. That really, that, that one speaks volumes. Now, listen, I'm going to share a little something else with you here from the, uh, the Kindle that I read last night. This is good. This is from Acts of the Apostles. Okay. When Simon saw that the Spirit was given when the apostles laid their hands on people, he offered them money to buy this power. Acts chapter 8. Poor Simon, right? He was too far from understanding the, the concept of faith. Um, the Spirit lives within you through repentance of your sin and asking of uh, forgiveness, right? Instead, Simon wanted to cut to the chase and receive the benefits of the power of the Holy Spirit. It's just like that. Um, today, you know, we do the same thing. Attending church, thinking it will make up for the time we didn't read our Bible or spend time with God. So try this one out. Stretch yourself beyond this type of thinking and reach out for a relationship. Invest your time in God. Do that today. Okay, my friends, do it today and every day. About a relationship with the one true God, the God of the universe. Okay, go and make it a great and blessed day. Pray for each other, like I always ask you to do. Pray for each other. Give a smile away today and know that God loves you and so do I.